Have you ever wondered what secrets medical experts use themselves to maintain optimal health and longevity? Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Robert Lufkin and welcome to the Health Longevity Secrets Show where we talk to the experts and find out their secrets for health and longevity. Not only what they recommend, but what they actually do for themselves. My name is Dr. Robert Lufkin and I want to welcome you to the very first episode of the Health and Longevity Secrets Show. Drum roll. <laughs> Over the last few years, there's been a revolution in our understanding of how major chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, stroke, dementia, and even some cancers are all linked by common longevity mechanisms that we're just beginning to understand. And most importantly, that we're now discovering that we can actually influence them through the choices we make in our lives. In fact, I want to show you how to change your life to immediately improve your health and longevity and prevent or even reverse some of the most disruptive diseases and chronic conditions. I spent nearly my entire career as a physician working as a full-time tenured professor at two leading medical schools where I get to not only see patients, perform scientific research, and also both teach and more often than not learn from the many medical students and doctors in training with whom I've had the privilege of interacting. In this show, I will be interviewing the top experts in health and longevity and find out their recommendations for lifestyle changes, supplements, tests, devices, or any other tools to use. Not only what they recommend, I will also be specifically asking them what they actually do for themselves. Here are some examples of who will be on the show. A successful cardiac surgeon who became tired of treating patients after they got heart disease and is now changing his practice to show patients how they can avoid getting heart disease altogether. We'll also be hearing from one of the top fasting experts and author uh, about the health benefits of various forms of time-restricted feeding. Next, what about sugar? Yes, sugar's as bad as everyone says, or maybe even worse. We'll be hearing a lot about sugar and refined carbohydrates. Sugar has now been linked to not only accelerated aging, but also chronic diseases such as diverse as diabetes, obesity, heart disease, dementia, stroke, and even some cancers. Sugar is a carbohydrate, which along with fat and protein are the three macronutrients in our diet. Of the three, only fat and protein is required for life. It's it's interesting that carbohydrates and sugars aren't even required for humans to live, and despite their negative effects on health, people continue to consume increasing amounts of it. A professor of pediatrics, author, and leading expert on sugar and nutrition will discuss the striking health benefits of reducing sugar in children. As a father of two young daughters, I know firsthand how difficult this can be. Our expert will explain his detailed method that actually works for accomplishing this. Speaking of nutrition, we will also be speaking with a journalist and author of a great book about the legendary German scientist named Otto Warburg, who was a fascinating riddle of a man. He was acknowledged to be one of Nazi Germany's greatest scientists, despite the fact that he was Jewish and also gay. Fortunately for him, there was only one thing that Adolf Hitler feared more than Jews and gay people, and Otto Warburg was Germany's greatest chance to understand it and possibly even cure it, and that was cancer. Warburg also had a monster ego. When he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine, his first response was, well, it's about time. He went on to be nominated another 47 times in his career for more Nobel Prizes. The book reads like the Raiders of the Lost Ark, only with diet, cancer, metabolism, Nobel Prizes, and some of the greatest scientists of all time. Its provocative title is Ravenous, Otto Warburg, the Nazis, and the search for the diet cancer connection. <laughs> Another expert we will hear from specializes in exercise to slow and yes, even reverse biomarkers for aging. Other experts will tell us about uh, using devices such as continuous glucose monitors, ketone and acetone monitors, and many other exciting health and longevity tools. Chronological age is an important biomarker and has the strongest overall association with essentially all chronic diseases. It's of course easy to calculate just using your birth date, but other more powerful clocks are coming to help us understand, control, and even reverse aging. For example, 
Epigenetic methylation clocks are a new revolutionary method of calculating biological age of humans as compared to chronological age as a possible game-changing biometric for longevity research. We will be talking with the founder and CEO of a company that is offering a consumer version of an epigenetic methylation clock using simple saliva, and it'll cost under $100. Other experts will talk about even newer, more powerful clocks for longevity, glycation, proteomic, and other phenotypical clocks. So now we have clocks, what can we measure with them? We will next speak with a doctor who used methylation clocks to ask the provocative question, can lifestyle changes affect methylation clocks in humans? She just published a revolutionary paper on a small pilot prospective randomized controlled trial that looked at epigenetic age before and after just eight weeks of lifestyle changes. And, spoiler alert, she showed that the lifestyle changes set the methylation epigenetic clock back three years. She's now conducting a larger trial as well as teaching others how to do it for themselves and she will be showing us exactly how she does it. What else? Metformin is a safe FDA approved drug that is prescribed for early type two diabetes. It has the unusual effect that in at least in one study of 80,000 diabetic patients who took it, they live not only longer than diabetics who didn't take it, but also longer than normal non-diabetic healthy controls. We will be speaking to arguably the world's expert on metformin who is setting up the team metformin prospective longevity clinical trial. Now rapamycin is arguably one of the most powerful longevity drugs known. It is also an FDA approved drug. This targets the powerful nutrient sending protein mTOR. It results in significant lifespan extension in animals from yeast up to mammals. It's been stated that if the life extension that rapamycin creates for mice were applied to humans, the result would be equivalent to 10 times the effect of curing all cancers. We'll be speaking with a physician who has arguably the largest clinical experience in prescribing rapamycin for his patients, purely for longevity extension to slow aging. And we will also be discussing with him an equally new powerful drug combination that he has just started adding to the rapamycin with his patients. Now, if lifestyle and drugs aren't enough to move the health and longevity meter, we'll also be talking to the founder and CEO of a leading longevity biotech company that is engineering longevity gene therapy that is available now. And we'll hear about her experience after trying all three gene therapies on herself. And these are just a few of the experts that we get to hear from. Could you imagine if you lived your life like they actually do to maximize your own health and longevity and dramatically reduce your risk of major chronic diseases. We all get all kinds of advice about food, exercise, sleep, supplements. Much of it's often conflicting. And who has time to follow it all? I'm gonna show you what the experts actually do for themselves. In each episode, we're gonna to try to include a quick win, something you can do for yourself. So, here it goes. After you finish dinner, brush your teeth immediately and don't eat anything else. This simple act will contribute to a healthier you and improve your longevity for two reasons. First, brushing teeth just doesn't prevent cavities. It also prevents heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and other problems associated with inflammation. It also makes it less likely for us to snack because then we have to brush again. Secondly, skipping evening snacks helps control calories, but more importantly, it starts your body on what will be at least a 12-hour fast if you wait until breakfast to eat again. This time-restricted feeding has benefits for metabolism, insulin resistance, decreasing inflammation, and autophagy that you'll hear a lot more about in upcoming episodes of this program. Now imagine if you could do more of these steps to change your own life significantly, to reduce your own risk of the major diseases that we all face in our lives just because you took the time to join us on this show. So if this sounds appealing, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Note, this is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking of it because of something you have seen here. If you find this to be of value of you, please hit that like button and subscribe to support the work we do on this channel. Also, we take your suggestions and advice very seriously. Please let us know what you'd like to see on this channel. 
thanks for watching and we we'll hope to see you next time.